Hey guys, what's up? Disney Nuts here. As you can see behind me, I have the all-star music and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be comparing DSLR shots to the iPhone. Let's go. Okay, so here's the setup. We're going to actually be taking shots with my iPhone and I'm going to be putting on the moment lens which gives it a really cool uh, ultra-wide angle look to it. That way I'm going to be simulating what we did with the Tokina lens a couple of days ago. Now, we do have an advantage with the iPhone because the iPhone has actually an aperture of 1.6. So there is that edge that the iPhone is going to be given over the camera. So uh, let's see if that helps out the photos comparing the DSLR to the iPhone. Let's go inside. Okay, so here's what I'm going to be using for the iPhone today. This is my iPhone XR, and as for camera specs, it has a 12 megapixel wide angle camera at a f stop of 1.8. Now, I will be adding on to it uh, this moment lens, which gives you that ultra wide angle look to it, which you guys have seen on my stories many times. And this lens is actually from Moment, and it actually consists of two parts the lens itself and the case. So you can actually buy the lens, and depending on your phone, is depending on the case that you get. Now, we're going to be using this lens for all the photos because we want to simulate what we did with the uh, DSLR which is the Tokina which is the ultra wide angle which I did for, I used for all the shots so that way we're matching up the lens um, ultra wide angle specs um, to the both of them for the camera app we're going to be using an app here called ProCam and what I like of this app it has a couple of things that I will be using tonight one being that it shoots in raw format and second is that it has the feature called the AEB which if you've seen some of my previous videos which means it's going to take three photos every time I hit the shutter button one underexposed one middle and one overexposed and hopefully uh, we can combine these three shots and get something pretty decent out of this iPhone now another thing that I like of this app is that it has the ability to put the timer on because once we put this on a tripod and start doing night shots we don't want to shake the camera by tapping the screen so um this is what we're going to be using so here is a map of the all-star music and we're going to be hitting all the areas starting with this one which is um the calypso and this is actually the same thing on both sides which is a really cool shot we're going to take and then we're going to move up here which is the jazz in which has the same thing on these two sides as well and then we'll go over to the broadway which is the really cool shot that i posted a couple days ago and then we're going to move over to this one which is the rock in which is really cool and actually there's a car and everything on this one followed by the country in which is the one all the way at the end okay so let's start okay so we just came out of the uh food area over here we walked over into the pool which is now actually closed and this is the calypso area as you can see you got the maracas and the other um, instruments here on the side we're coming up on the calypso buildings and this is where we're going to be taking the shot of the xenophone i think that's what it's called i could be wrong but i think that's what they call it which is the instrument which has those uh, tubes and the tubes are tuned to different notes because they have different lengths and makes different tones and this is actually the same thing on both sides so we can take this shot without no problems um, it doesn't look as dark as the other one so fingers crossed we get a good exposure out of this one okay so let's start the comparison on the left we have what i shot with my dslr as you can see the settings are iso 100 um, f 5.6 in two seconds and you can see where I'm using the Tokina lens, which is my ultra wide angle. And on the right side, we had what I shot with the iPhone last night uh, with the moment lens. Now, right off of the bat, you can see how wider the iPhone is. And again, that is because the iPhone simulates more, uh, I guess you could say a full frame camera. As you can see up here on the left, it says 4.25 millimeters. In the case of a Tokina lens, and, uh, and in this case of a crop sensor, which is my camera, even though it's 12, is actually a little more because of the ratio of a crop sensor camera compared to a full frame. So just that alone, there is one positive thing that the iPhone will have over a crop sensor camera that you'll be able to get more in the image if you're using, again, that moment lens. Now for quality, I, I think you cannot beat the quality of the DSLR here on the left. You can see everything is, is really nice and sharp and good. The colors are popping and everything. We're coming into the jazz section. 
and this one looks really really dark so this is going to be a really interesting one to try to capture and i could tell you right off of the bat that the one in the middle which we shot with the water fountain it's just not going to come out there's just no way although it's got a little bit of light it's just not going to work so uh anyway let's go ahead and try it out okay so we're coming up at the fountain which was one of the other shots that i took and this is so dark that there's just no way i'm going to be able to get this shot to be honest with you guys i'm going to try but I just know it's not going to come out and I shot it from right here where I got the fountain on the right and a little bit of the jazz uh, drum set over there in the back uh, you cannot see the words because there's trees on both sides which is somewhat a bummer okay so the next one was possibly one of the hardest images to be able to take on the iPhone and the reason for this was that the area was so dark that it was practically um, you know I won't say impossible but it was just really hard to be able to get a good image in this area tinkering around with the settings there's just no way that I would get a good good clean image like what I got on my DSLR which is what you see here on the left um, here are a couple of images that I took on the right with the iPhone where I tried adjusting the settings and I, I just couldn't get it I just couldn't get the I just couldn't get a good clear image on it um, here's one at ISO um, 800 I took another one at ISO 1600 this one looks okay but if you look at the water you still see a bunch of grain which just looks it just looks bad and i wasn't able to get that glossy look on the water either okay the next one on our list is here broadway now this one i'm suspecting it's going to come out pretty good because we got a lot of light coming off of the uh, of the signs here so i think this one's going to be pretty good okay so here we have the one at the broadway area and this one i had a feeling that the iphone was going to do pretty good because the area is pretty well lit and the lights coming off of the buildings helps a lot when taking these types of images uh, on the left side uh, we have the tokina which you saw it rained and nice drops and everything everything looks nice and sharp and crisp the trees you can see the details and everything which looks really good on the right we have the image of the iphone and it's not a bad image uh, it's a little grainy obviously comparing it to an iso 100 on a dslr but it's still not a bad image if you were to share something like this on you know Instagram or something like that you may get be able to get away with it here's another one that I took at ISO 800 uh, the noise starts to start to creep up on you but it's still uh, it's not a bad image for for a smartphone for something that you have on your pocket and on the right you have actually the iPhone now look at this guys this doesn't look bad at all if uh, again this is a smartphone now, I'm sure that if you uh, if you want to dedicate more time into cleaning some of this stuff up you probably can get a pretty decent photo Okay, we're coming up on the next one which is Country Inn which has a banjo and violin on both of the sides and it's got this really cool white uh, you know picket fence right here in the middle um, this one is really dark I'm hoping you can see how it looks here on the camera that's going to be pretty interesting to take as we're coming up out here on the boots you can see there's literally no light on them no light whatsoever which is fine because what they're doing here is actually giving this nice good warm candle feel that they have on the on the street lamps here now I don't know if you can see it but these lamps are actually flickering which is cool which is gives like a, a vibe that it's a candle so and here are the boots how it looks on the right we have what I was able to get with the iPhone I could not get a good decent image on this area either and as you can see there's a um, practically no light on the boots which is makes it uh, just almost really hard and difficult to be able to get a good image here I I adjusted my ISO a little bit more to see if I can get it and there was just no way I can get a good clean image on the right is my image now I'll be honest maybe I didn't focus here or something it was just too dark for the camera to be able to to lock in on the background there uh, because as I mentioned in the video the the lights around this area are actually simulating candles so it's it's a pretty dark area and I took this one at a higher ISO at 2500 to see if I could somewhat get a better image but i think at, after a certain point you know after a certain iso it's just uh, uh you know there's just no way of coming back to making it look any better so some really dark spots here in this resort so it's going to be really hard to capture some of the images compared to the dslr and for obvious reasons first the dslr allows me to put a really long shutter speed with the iphone i didn't really have that much options as to set stuff you know like 30 seconds which is what some of the photos of the dslr were coming up as so um you know i guess we can't really compare the two of them when it comes down to that but that really is probably one of the biggest advantages that the dslr has over the iphone when doing night photography which is what we're doing here 
Okay, we're coming up to the next area, which is the Rock Inn. And this one, I'll be honest with you, I think we're going to be able to get some really good shots because there's a there's neon lighting up pretty uh, pretty much the area. So let's head over there and take some shots and see how it looks. So we're going to go ahead and park here. I'm going to be shooting two in an angle. One is going to be up here, which is where we get the reflections of the car. And the other one, we're going to bring down the tripod a little bit and shoot it like this where we get the neon on the back, but we get the front of the uh, of the whole car. So let's go ahead and take those shots. Now look how cool the one on the left looks and you can even see the uh, drops of water uh, from that night. Everything looks nice and sharp and focused and, and the grass looks great. You can see the blades and everything on it and the neon. Even though it's a little exposed, you can still uh, you know read what it says on the sign. Now the one on the right, which I took with the iPhone, look how weird and wrong this photo looks. Uh, starting by, you got a, a reflection right here um, and I'm suspecting this is what's coming off of the moment lens, which is, uh, which is, uh, I guess it's not really supposed to do, but I guess that's, that's, you know, when you're shooting something so dark like this and lights coming in an angle, that's what will happen. And I could not get this in focus. I could not get this where the camera, um, AKA this smartphone would, uh, would focus on this to adjust accordingly. So this was probably the best that I can get in this location. I did shoot it at a slower speed to see if I could, uh, uh, try to get something a little bit more less grainy, but it just it just couldn't do it on the left You can see everything looks nice and sharp You got even a little bit of the reflection here on the on the hood of the car on the one of the iPhone again I just couldn't get a good, you know good image with less noise on it than what I can get here in this case with ISO 400 I tried at different um, ISOs, but I still just just got a bunch of noise on it it was just too dark for the camera to be able to compete on the you know compete with it so um and again here is that reflection that it's coming up again and i guess this is because of the moment lens for some reason it's given a reflection uh off of the off of the lens which is not good in the case of uh, uh these night shots so i guess uh fail here for the iphone as well okay so this one we actually shot from the bottom up so i'm going to set up my tripod here and we're going to shoot upwards in an angle like this let's go ahead and do it on the right, we got it with the iPhone, and it doesn't look bad at all, actually. Um, the neon looks good, uh, even though it's a little overexposed. I had to uh, basically wing it to be able to get, uh, you know, the sides of the balconies uh, bright in the image. Now, I'm sure if I sit a little bit more time with this, I could probably, you know, tweak it a little bit more, but it doesn't look bad at all. And uh, again, we're using the light here that we have available to us to our advantage because the light coming off. Uh, the building behind us is actually lighting all the stuff that's that we're seeing here so um, that's why we can take this shot at ISO 800 and, and it looks pretty good okay now this area wasn't too bad to be honest with you the uh, the neon uh, neon coming off of the of these buildings actually helped a lot so I think we got some really good shots of this area okay probably one of the biggest differences that I find from the art and the pop from the all-stars is right here that this exit here has no light whatsoever which is really strange so it makes this area pretty dark uh, but besides that this is a pretty cool resort to come to okay guys so that's it here from all-star music resort at Walt Disney World in Florida hopefully you like this video with a compare the iPhone to the DSLR what do you think do you think it was a fair match put your comments below I'm interested to see what you have to say Okay, so with that said, I just want to go ahead and say thank you for watching this video. And if you like what you saw, you want to see more videos of, like this, food reviews and other fun stuff, feel free to hit that subscribe button and bell to get notified. And please feel free to share this video with your friends so we can keep the videos coming. So with that said, stay awesome guys. See ya.